Good morning. This is Courtney Edwards for Sydney Surroundings 11am News Update. A bus and truck collided in Wetherill Park this morning after the truck driver ran a red light on the corner of Widemere and Davis Road. The bus driver was taken to hospital for medical assistance and nine passengers were treated at the scene. SBS's first Arabic radio station, Arabic 24, celebrated their first year on air today with a live broadcast from Parramatta's Centenary Square. Breakfast show presenters Ghassan Nakul and Silva Meza spoke with Australia's first female Muslim MP, Anne Ali, and revisited the biggest news stories from the past year. Sydney siders will gather in Hyde Park today for Union New South Wales International Women's Day March and Rally. This year's theme, Forwards Not Backwards, aims to draw attention to the inequalities of health, representation and safety of women. Alternative Sydney volunteer Lisa Moon says the event gives people an opportunity to voice their support for equality. It's important that women everywhere stand up for, for our rights, but also more generally stand up against the agenda of the rich and powerful. When you're out on the streets, in, in masses actually, masses of people, that's when you can start to insert yourself into the political narrative. 5,000 supporters are expected to meet at Archibald Fountain to listen to guest speakers before heading into the streets of the CBD to march for equal rights. Checking your traffic conditions, there are major delays in Parramatta this morning after a five-car pile-up on Church Street. The road is closed in both directions. Avoid the area if you can. There has been an accident on Flushcombe Road in Blacktown earlier today. Emergency services are working to free a trapped taxi driver from his vehicle. Looking ahead to weather, it will reach a top of 23 degrees in the west and 19 degrees in the city today. Showers developing later this afternoon. This is Courtney Edwards for Sydney Surroundings News. Ah!